Okay, part two. Today I'll be adding paper mache and painting. So here are some basic supplies, Elmer's glue, paintbrush, paper towels, and some paints. Let's go. So I start by just adding my glue and then mix it with some water, usually only about like a cup of glue to a couple tablespoons of water. I add more if I don't like the consistency. Sometimes it gets a little gloopy. I don't know, is gloopy even a word? <laughs> Anyways, I just add more water if I need to and then just stir it up. Then I take my paper towel and cut them up into strips. I usually stack a couple on so it doesn't take me as long. And I try to do different sizes just so that I can have the different lengths that I need for different spots. And then I just dip them into the glue and once that's saturated then I can kind of pull off excess and place it on and it takes me a few minutes to get the right form that I like then I have a better idea of how I want to complete the rest of the project Okay, all finished, so I'll let it dry overnight and see you in the morning. Morning! Coffee time. It's paint day. So since this is going to be a tree stump, I'm going to go in with some neutral, natural looking colors. Got my paint brushes. I really like this brush because it's good for doing like a dry brushing, dry paint. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> I start with black and use that as a base and then use some browns and then also some green as well. <laughs> I like how I'm holding it up but you can't really see what it says. <laughs> okay, more coffee and then we will get started. Okay, you go over here so I don't get paint in you. And let's paint this black. I'm starting with the black so that I can have completely black base um, covering all the white to create depth and shadows. Alright, so while this is all done, I'm going to finish my coffee and we're going to dry it. Um, the black is completely covering every part. I use my hair dryer to speed up the drying process, just making sure there's no damp spots. Once this is dry, I choose a dark brown to cover up the log and just give it more of a wooden feel to it. More drying. All right, this is my favorite part of the project. I love doing the details. I just added some like tan color with this other brown shade and I'm just covering just the very outside of the log just to give it more of a bark look. And I put just a tiny amount of paint and almost wiped it off the brush before putting it on. And I chose this green to do some, almost like a moss around the bottom. 
I'm gonna cover it with some actual like grass and lots of other sticks and twigs and all the other details, the door, the windows, uh, but that's for another day. So we are all finished and I love how it turned out. It's so cute and I can't wait to start on more of the details. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go craft and we'll see you next time.